Welcome back to Recaps Exposed. Today, I am going to be explaining the movie Delivered. At the beginning of the movie, we are shown a pregnant woman called Valerie driving away from someone or something. The scene then changes to Valerie at an ultrasound getting a checkup. The scene opens to a prenatal yoga class. A woman named Jenny interacts with Valerie's husband, Tom, briefly before class starts. And then, when seated, Jenny gives Valerie a funny look. After class, Jenny mysteriously ends up in the same cafe as Valerie and her husband. They have a brief interaction while Tom is getting Valerie coffee. Jenny explains that she is going to be a solo mother. Jenny says that she has a farmhouse in the country and she's lived there her whole life. The pair talk about each other's lives. The scene cuts to Valerie sitting on the couch and receiving multiple missed calls from someone called Riley. After a restless night, Valerie wakes up and argues with Tom about the cot. Valerie meets with Jenny again at yoga class and Jenny is very interested in Valerie's life. They discuss how they're both scared of becoming new moms. Valerie then catches a man watching her from outside the yoga studio. She tells Jenny that she's going outside for some air. Valerie meets with the man. His name is Riley. He is the person who's been calling her nonstop. Valerie tells Riley to leave her alone, and he's very persistent. We can tell that he's probably an ex of hers. Valerie eventually agrees to catch up with him on Wednesday at noon. After yoga class, Jenny asks Valerie if her and her husband want to have dinner at hers. The couple agree. Valerie and Tom are shocked to learn that Jenny actually lives quite far away, in the middle of nowhere, actually. They happily drive to Jenny's house and discuss how excited they are to become parents. Tom promises Valerie that he will never leave her, foreshadowing a darker meaning later on in the film. The scene then cuts to Valerie and Tom arriving at a beautiful home. After having refreshers, Tom offers to fix Jenny's car. Jenny talks to Valerie about how she's always dreamed of having a little girl. Night falls and everyone's finished eating. Valerie yawns and looks extremely exhausted. Tom begins to worry. Jenny says that they're welcome to stay. Valerie begins to get more and more dozy. Jenny all of a sudden creeps up on Tom and an X appears before the scene cuts. Valerie awakens to Jenny standing above her. It's clear that Valerie has been drugged. Jenny is no longer pregnant. Tom is nowhere to be seen. Jenny rubs Valerie's stomach and says that it's our future. After putting Valerie to bed, she ties her up. Jenny proceeds to hide Valerie and Tom's car in her barn. The scene then cuts to Jenny dragging Tom's dead body into a creek. The scene opens to Jenny listening to Valerie's cries for help. Valerie realizes the shit she's gotten herself into. Jenny says that this is her baby and that she's killed Tom. Jenny then injects Valerie. The scene cuts to Jenny trying to feed Valerie. Jenny explains that this is not the first time she's done this and no one's come for other victims in the past. She explains that this time it will be different and that Valerie is the one. Valerie tries to reach for her phone, but Jenny catches her and takes her for a walk where Valerie screams for help the whole time. Night dawns and Jenny starts crying in pain. She is pretending to give birth. Valerie holds her bum and promises to get them out of there. Valerie then somehow manages to free herself and get to the front door, which is locked. Valerie reaches for a knife in the kitchen and walks up the stairs. She enters Jenny's room. The scene then cuts to Valerie waking up from the nightmare, still chained up. Back at home, her friend Riley, potentially her ex-boyfriend, is waiting at the coffee shop for her. He begins to call her phone, worried when she doesn't pick up. Back at the farm, Jenny can hear the phone ringing. Jenny confronts Valerie and asks who Riley is. Valerie says that Riley knows who Jenny is and where they are. Jenny starts freaking out. The scene cuts to Riley at the yoga studio, asking if his friend Valerie had checked into class this week. The teacher said no. Jenny is pacing back and forth, freaking out. Jenny violently asks for Valerie to put her finger on her iPhone to open it. If not, she'll chop her finger off. Jenny abides. Jenny tells Valerie she's a liar and knows that Riley knows knows nothing. Jenny flips because all the messages with Riley are deleted. Valerie says that Riley will come looking for her. Jenny says that she's going to go and take care of Riley. As soon as Jenny leaves, Valerie has to sort out an escape plan. Valerie goes looking around the house and finds a note Jenny made about her when she was stalking her, saying how she wasn't ready to be a mom and that she's basically the perfect victim. We cut to Jenny texting Riley to meet up with her, and he of course thinks that it's Valerie who he's going to be seeing. It turns out that Jenny 
never left the farm and attempted to ghost Riley so that he'd give up on looking for Valerie. Jenny then throws the phone in the creek, enraged. The next day, Valerie wakes to Jenny unchaining her. Jenny says that before she tries to run and take off, she wants to show her something. Jenny takes Valerie to a beautiful nursery. Valerie is shocked. Jenny then injects Valerie and says that they're going to be just fine without her. Jenny explains her reasoning for acting this way is because she's worried Riley will come find them. The scene cuts to Valerie on an operating table. Jenny touches Valerie's bump and says she can't wait to see the unborn child. Valerie dozes in and out of sleep. Jenny then cuts into Valerie's stomach and the scene cuts. The next day, Riley enters Valerie's apartment after finding a key under the door. He calls out for her, but soon realizes she's missing. Back at the farm, Valerie awakens to see she still has her pregnancy bump, but she had been cut lightly. Jenny then enters the room and feeds Valerie rosemary tea to attempt to induce labor naturally. Jenny threatens her if she doesn't drink it. The scene then cuts to Valerie watching Jenny at the window. Jenny gets in her car. The scene then cuts to Valerie using the bathroom and she notices that she is in the beginning stages of labor. Whilst Jenny is gone, Valerie snoops into Jenny's belongings and finds a box with weird murder findings. The scene cuts to Riley turning up to the farm. Valerie screams for help. Riley finally enters the locked house. Riley immediately attempts to free Valerie from the chains. Riley says that he will never let Valerie go again. He turns around to Jenny, who starts bashing him with a shovel. Valerie immediately smashes Jenny in the face with the chain. She runs out of the house as fast as she can, holding the heavy chains. She runs to the the car and thank god the keys are in the ignition she speeds off and jenny chases after her valerie starts entering labor it turns out that jenny is heading towards her head on valerie attempts to swerve but crashes jenny is pissed at this point and slowly walks towards her and smashes her in the face with a fence post valerie has awoken and she's chained up again valerie says she's sorry about what jenny's parents did to her jenny then revealed her parents ripped her open when she was pregnant and left her to die in the very room valerie is in jenny says that she ended up killing her parents valerie begs jenny Jenny to not do this. Jenny then chops Valerie's foot off. The scene cuts to Valerie having a bad dream about Jenny holding her baby. Valerie wakes to the sound of Jenny dragging Riley's dead body across the ground. Not willing to give up, Valerie limps while Jenny is cleaning up. We then see Valerie in the bathroom holding a piece of wood. Jenny hears Valerie screaming in the distance and walks up the stairs to the bedroom. Valerie doesn't answer. Jenny walks into the bathroom. Jenny sees Valerie sitting in a pool of blood. Jenny shockingly asks what Valerie did. Jenny starts crying and saying that she killed her baby. It turns out that Valerie didn't actually kill her baby. She killed Jenny's cat. Valerie then stabs Jenny and tells her to die. Valerie is able to call the police from her phone that was in Jenny's pocket. Valerie then awakens holding her newborn baby in hospital. What are y'all's thoughts on the movie Delivered? Let me know in the comments below and please don't forget to help us out by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. See you all in our next video.